Today we invited a special guest to join with us today. She is very popular and she is very excellent at math, at math and science. She already spoken in the United Nation and Harvard University about global warming and education. She is Fatiha Ayat. Fatiha, assalamu alaikum. Alaikum. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm good. I am really happy to be here, actually. And this is a wonderful program, mashallah. And thank you for inviting me over, alhamdulillah. And thank you, everyone, for coming here. We are very happy to have you with us today, A2 Fatiha. Um, let's hear our plans for Eid. Um, my plan for Eid is that I actually run an organization called Child and Deed. Child and Deed stands for climate, health, information, learning, and development. And in this Eid, Eid al Adha, I am working to provide help for children of my age with the organization that I run, Child and D. Fatiha, today from you, we would like to know the importance of the day of Arafah. The day of Arafah is so immensely important because this amazing ayah of Surah Marida, verse number three, was revealed on this day. The ayah is, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Al Yoma Akamal Tulakum Dinakum wa at Mem to Alaikum. Niamati Waradi Tulakumul Islamadina. Which means, This day I have perfected for you your religion and completed my favor upon you and have approved for you Islam as religion. This basically means that Allah has perfected and approved for us the religion of Islam on the day of Arafat. The day of Arafat is also so significantly important because Allah swears by this day in Surah Al-Buruj, verses 1 to 3, when he says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Wassamai Zatil Buruj. واليوم الموعود وشاهد ومشهود which means by the sky containing great stars and by the promised day and by the witness and what is witnessed it was reported from Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the promised day is the day of resurrection the witness day which is mentioned in the second ayah. And the witness day is the day of Arafat, which is mentioned in the third ayah that I just recited. Allah swears by nothing except that which is great and mighty. So the day of Arafat is significantly important. It is a recommended sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam for those who are not pilgrims to fast, as our Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, it expiates the sins of the past year and the coming year. Prophet Muhammad also said that there is no day on which Allah frees people from the fire more so than on the day of Arafat. So this is why the day of Arafat is so significantly important. And that's my answer. Thank you, for the question. Okay. Thank you, Fatiha. Now I have a question for you. Um, how did the last sermon of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam teach us equality? In the year of 10th Hijra, our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam undertook his farewell, undertook his farewell pilgrimage to Mecca. On the ninth day of Dhul Hijra, standing on the Mount Arafat in front of one of the largest gatherings of Muslims at that time. Our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu delivered his farewell sermon, a sermon that was filled with treasures, lessons, and commandments 
that was to be followed for thousands of generations to come, including today, until the Day of Judgment. I will tell you the most important five of those lessons that our Prophet ﷺ taught us. Number one is, hurt no one so that no one may hurt you. Number two is, stay away from interest of money. Number three is, shaitan can win with small things. Number four is, no racism please. And number five is, treat women kindly. There are many other lessons that our Prophet ﷺ taught us, but I told you all the most important five of the lessons that our Prophet taught us. I will conclude the answer to your second question by by reciting the dua of the day of Arafah and the meaning of that dua. The dua is La ilaha illallah wa hadahu la sharika lahu lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamd wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir which means there is nothing that deserves to be worshipped in truth except Allah. He is alone and has no partner. To him belongs the dominion and to him belongs all praise. And he is all powerful over all things. So this is the meaning of the dua of the day of Arafat. So this is my answer for the second question. Thank you, Fatiha.